Hi guys! Today I thought I would share with you my Wet n Wild Mega Last um, lipstick collection. I have quite a few colors. I definitely don't have the full range, but these sell for about two dollars at like Walmart or Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS. They're all about the same price range. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is swatches on the lips. And if you want to see better, more clear photos, um, a swatch on the hand and a swatch on the lips, um, and more information about each color, I will post that on my blog. So you can check that out down below. It's www.theblushedbeauty.blogspot.com. So it's just my screen name, The Blush Beauty, in front of .blogspot.com. I'm going to be putting these on in order of lightest to darkest. And I, my poor lips are going to feel really bad towards the end, but in between each lipstick I'm going to, you know, follow it up with maybe some chapstick to uh, help make my lips feel better. Yeah. And I actually realized that I picked up a couple more colors that caught my eye the other day, and I came home and realized I already had those colors. So I have two brand new shades. Um, one is in Think Pink. And the other is in Wine Room, and I think that these are both really beautiful wearable colors for a ton of people out there. So I was going to choose one winner to mail these to, wherever you may be, and I'll tell you at the end, after all these swatches, um, where you can go to enter in the giveaway. So um, yeah, let's get to swatching. So here are my bare lips, and we are going to start off with 901B, and this is in the color Think Pink. So here is the color. It's just a really beautiful, like, light pink shade. And this is more of a really nice sort of naturally nude-ish pink shade. Um, not totally nude, not overly light. I usually like to follow this up with a little bit more of a pink gloss on top. So the next shade that I have is 903C, and this is in the color Just Peachy, and this one is actually a matte shade. And this one is a really beautiful complementary shade for my skin tone. I think that this would be a great sort of natural, slightly peachy shade for a lot of skin tones. Um, I don't feel like it comes off too matte. And you could always just put a gloss on on top of it. Plus with my gloss um, underneath of it, it doesn't really look very matte right now. Anywho, the next color is a shade I just picked up and it says new shade on it. And it is 968 Pinker Bell. And it still has the packaging on it. I haven't yet tried this one. And here it is with the packaging off. You can see it is a really beautiful, um, much more of a bright coral pink. So let's go for a swatch on the lips. Oh yeah, this one is much more uh, bright. Fingerbell is certainly a much more bright corally pink shade. Um, a little bit more vibrant in person than certainly it's coming off on camera. Um, yeah, I think this would be a really great summer shade, especially with maybe like a floral print dress or I don't know, this would just really like sass up a lot of outfits. So this is a really beautiful new shade. And once again, that is 968 Pinker Bell. The next shade we have is... Hi, Biscuit. <laughs> Hi, babies. Okay, sorry. The next shade that we have is 905D, and this is in the color Smokin' Hot Pink. So here is Smokin' Hot Pink. It is certainly like a raspberry-based, really beautiful hot pink shade. So this is a really, really beautiful shade. I really love this shade. It's bold and bright, but still fun enough that you could wear it in the spring and summertime, but I think you could totally pull this off in the winter time as well. Scarf, jeans, <laughs> um, just because it's got that deeper, like, raspberry undertone, but it's still, it's vibrant enough for the summer, but, you know, deep enough that you could pull it off as a winter lip color as well. So once again, this is 905D Smokin' Hot Pink. So right in the middle of filming, Biscuit insisted he get held. Everyone loves it when you say hi. Mmm, yeah. this is a little more. You see me? What's happening? Oh, 
bark at the door. The next shade that I have here is 906D Wine Room and this is just the absolute most perfect wine shade. It is a true wine color that you know burgundy undertone to me I think that this might be a little more like mauve burgundy um so yeah totally wearable um so let's do our little swatch on the lips So there it is on the lips. It is definitely a big girl color. <laughs> That's typically what I would categorize this as. It's a really beautiful shade. You could always share this out a little bit, use it with a lighter hand, uh, maybe with a lip gloss. It might be more wearable for those who aren't used to or interested in wearing like full color bold lip. And if you share this color out a little bit, it might be a great shade for just about everyone. But the shade by itself, even shared out, would be absolutely beautiful. What's so? Once again, this is 906D Wine Room. And this is the uh, other color that I have in the giveaway because I have an extra. Now we have the color 907C, and this one is called Mauve Out of Here. It is a beautiful mauve shade with more of a purple undertone. So let's swatch this one on the lips. So I maybe should have done this one <laughs> before a wine room because this one is a more um, muted color than wine room. Wine room is a little bit more deep and bold um, than this one, uh, 907C Mauve out of here. It is a beautiful mauve shade that would be complimentary on an absolute plethora of skin tones. Alright, so my lips are starting to get a little more red and angry, but um, we push on. So the next color we have is 910D, and this is in the color Red Velvet, and this is like a true vampy red shade, not for the faint of heart. It is more of an orange-based red, um, so it's not going to make your teeth look all white and shiny. Um, the next one that I have is more of a blue-based red, so yeah, let's swatch this one on the lips. And I can certainly feel more of like a tug when I'm putting this on. This is not as creamy as say the other one. Even with a lip balm on underneath, this one has a little more um, a sort of that tug like a true matte lipstick has. So here is 910D on the lips in red velvet. To me this one didn't go on quite as smoothly as all of the other shades. It has more of like a matte finish to it. Um, with the lip balm on underneath, it has actually more of kind of a satin finish in person. Um, yeah, this one definitely has a much more like dry, matte feel when you're applying it. Once it's on, it's really beautiful shade. To me, this just screams like classic pinup girl red, um, snow white red. This is what this says to me. It's such a beautiful color. The very last shade that I have is 965 in Cherry Picking, and this is a beautiful deep red shade with more of a bluish plummy undertone to it. So this is probably going to help your lips look a little, or your teeth look a little more white than they really are. Um, yeah, let's swatch this one on the lips. So there is this swatch on the lips. Uh, this color is also for those looking for a bold and <laughs> beautiful lip. It is a red with the purple undertone, so it is quite dark and bold um, in terms of reds. They have some much darker shades. They do have shades that are really like really deep purple red shades, but this is about as dark as I could go or want to go. And yeah, so there is the swatch on my lip, and this one went on much more smooth and creamy than the red velvet did. This is more like the texture, typically, of all of these lipsticks than the Red Velvet. The Red Velvet just seemed exceptionally, like, matte. Alright guys, so thank you for bearing with me. That is the swatches of all of my Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks. They are wonderful lipsticks. If you put a lip balm on first, I feel like they have a really great, like, texture and opacity and, I don't know, they're just an absolute steal. They're a gem from the... <laughs> 
from the drugstore. They're really, really affordable. Um, yeah, I mean, you could spend $20 on one MAC lipstick, or you could go spend $20 at the drugstore and get 10 different shades from Wet n Wild. So, I mean, really, it's, it's your preference. If that one shade from MAC is just a must-have, then by all means you can get that. But if you really uh, want to branch out and try some different shades without taking too much of a leap or investing too much money, I think that these are a great way to do so. So on to the giveaway. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I, I inadvertently purchased recently a couple new shades, uh, and I thought these were really pretty shades, so I grabbed them while I was at the store, but lo and behold, I actually already have them. So yeah, we have Think Pink, and these are still sealed like in their official package, 901B, and then 9060 Wine Room. So how can you win these? Like the video, hit the like button down below. Uh, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, make sure you are subscribed. Then go ahead and comment down below in the comments on this video. And then you have to go visit my blog. So visit my blog, go there, check out all the swatches for this video and giveaway. You're gonna see all the lip swatches and swatches on the skin and close-up shots of all of these beautiful lip colors, leave a comment on that blog post. I will link my blog down below, go visit the blog, and then I'm going to announce the winner on my blog. So two weeks from today I will announce the winner on my blog and then I will get in contact with you and send off your uh, two Wet n Wild Mega Last lip colors. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!